Firepower Threat Defense 622. We're going to look at uh, Firepower Device Manager. Um, this is on the uh, VM side. So this is something new introduced on 622. We had uh, FDM or Firepower Device Manager on some appliances, but not all of them. Um, so uh, this was introduced and I just want to go through a quick uh, setup here and show you how to get it up and running. So once you deploy the OVF, um, you're going to go through, power it up obviously, you're going to sign all the interfaces, lots of videos that I've already done around that. Um, and then you're going to come and accept the end user license agreement. Once you do that, you'll enter your passwords as it's uh, prompting you here. And then we'll give it, you know, uh, are we going to use IPv4, v6? In my case, we're just going to use IPv4. Um, and we're going to go ahead and give it a IP address for the management interface. Uh, obviously, we're using static and not DHCP here. Go ahead and enter the gateway. Give it a name. And uh, uh, something here I like is that we're using Cisco Umbrella, formerly OpenDNS, as the default DNS servers. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, once that's done, it's going to go through and do some pre-configuration. Uh, and then it's going to prompt you for uh, whether or not you want to do localized management versus uh, centralized using Firepower Management Center. So we're going to use Firepower Device Manager, so Localized Manager. All we do is hit yes. When we do that, it automatically se selects uh, routed mode, uh, and then it'll uh, finalize the configuration. And then you could, uh, at that point, launch a browser and um, log into Firepower Device Manager. So that's it. That it, It's done at that point. So let's go up to a browser and make sure that we get in the login page. looks good and that's it it's pretty simple right um, obviously this is not configuring the device I'll show you that in the next video uh, fairly shortly